Welcome to Business Automated. Today I will show you how to mass upload attachments to Airtable. Let's get to it. So the first step is to create the table where you want to upload the images. And in this case I have uh, as the name column the ID and then I have a separate column which will be the, the file name. And then I have an attachment column. This is where we want the attachment to be placed. The next step is to uh, start a new scenario in Integromat. And this new scenario in Integromat, we will start it from a blank clean scenario and we will be using Google Watch, uh, Google, uh, Watch Files module. So we need to add Google, Google Drive and Watch Files in a folder. So obviously for that we need to first create um, a folder. So you can create any folder inside of your Google Drive and that's where you're going to upload the file. So I called it a file upload inside of folder transit. So the next step is to basically find where this folder is located. And we can set how many files we want to upload at a single time, let's say 20. Okay. And we're going to start this scenario running from now on because we have no files in there. So once the file is uploaded to the folder, the next step that we need to do is to basically create, uh, make this link to that file shareable. Airtable allows you only to upload files using a shared link. This is why you need to have a link that is shareable and accessible to anyone on the, on the internet. So as a file ID, we're going to use the file ID from the previous step. And as the type, we're going to make it anyone. This means that now link to this file is going to be available for anyone. Okay, we need to click OK. And the next step is to add this file to Airtable. And we're going to use here create a new record. And we need to connect to our Airtable and find the right base where we want to place it. We need to select the table. And as a file name, we're going to use the file name coming here from this first step. And as an attachment, we need to give the URL. Unfortunately, it's not that straightforward as taking any URL here. You need to have a specific download URL. What you're getting from this first, second step is a share URL, which will not be useful for Airtable. So let me just copy quickly that template here. So this is basically a link with a tag export equals download that will give you a share link that can be downloaded rather than view in the browser like most of the Google links. And what we are going to use in here, it's going to be the file ID. As a file name, we're also going to use the file name from the first step. And that's it. So link to this uh, special URL is going to be in the description of the video. All right, so let's do this and now let's add some files to our folder. We're uploading a couple of avatar icons here. So there, there are new files right now here in the folder. There are six new files and let's start the Integromat scenario. We can see that the files has been recognized and they are being added to our table. And as you can see, the files are gradually showing up here. And, and the preview becomes visible after a couple of seconds. So we can add even more files. And again, we run the scenario. And we can see the files being added in real time. You can add this way pictures, you can add attachments, you can add any file that can be added inside of a Google Drive folder. All right, I hope this video was useful for you. And if you like it, please subscribe for more business automation tutorials.